Hi, this is Bea, and I'd like to spend a few minutes to go over the workflow and integration between GD Stratus and Adobe Premiere Pro. What you can see here is I'm running Adobe Premiere Pro 7 as part of the Creative Cloud. From the Windows and Extension area, I have a GD Stratus plugin that allows me to log in very quickly. And from here, I'm able to navigate through all of my different K2 pins. Now, what I've got is a full access to the Stratus database from here, and I can navigate through bins and take a look at the content of any of those bins. When I select an item, I can review the metadata. All of the metadata fields are available from here. And also, I can even make changes to that metadata. So let's say I want to make a change to the reporter, or there are tick boxes or metadata fields that are associated with the specific workflow rules within Stratus. So let's say a tick box will send it to the archive or to the web or transcode, etc., etc. So that's, um, that's part of the uh, Stratus plugin inside Adobe Premiere Pro and a couple of new features that we've added with the re recent release, Stratus 3.5. One is the ability to see your favorites from here. The other capability is to actually perform quite complex searches. So of course, you can already uh, search by a keyword or a simple name uh, keyword but also you can use all of these metadata tabs and combinations so you can combine your metadata fields such as and or not as boolean searches uh, contains is is not begins uh, by creation day by uh, modification date um, or even you can use the metadata fields that are custom to your workflow so let's say you're looking specifically specifically for something that was shot in singapore now um Let's get on with some editing. I'm going to work on the gondola project today. And once you've located your, your content, you can simply select those one or multiple assets and add to the active bin. Now, what's happening here is that I'm getting a link uh, to those assets within the K2 storage within my active bin. Now, there is no content being moved or copied from anywhere to anywhere. I'm simply editing in place just make this a little bit smaller now I'm editing in place directly from the k2 uh, storage so I can play I can review and I can mark an in point in here mark an out point in there and add that to my timeline this is gonna create a new sequence with the shots that I've selected let's say I'm gonna add another shot from here and another other shot from there and of course you can perform all of the different editing capabilities provided by Premiere Pro such as all of your effects your voiceover captions subtitles and so on once you're happy with your edit, you come back to your Stratus uh, GV uh, Stratus plugin over here and you can click on the export active timeline. What's going to happen now is I get presented with this, the typical Stratus send destination window. Multiple things are happening here. First of all, I can choose any of the preset destinations that you set up within the Stratus control panel, as you probably know and are familiar with. So you can set to send to different bins within the K2Sun or you can send to a separate K2 storage or a third party server, or like you can see here, you could even send to a remote destination. So let's say you're editing in Singapore, but you want to send to your Hillsborough Strata system. You can do that from here. Equally, down here in this part of the plugin, what I can see is all of the rundowns from the newsroom system that are currently active. And I can see those that are ready, or so, so placeholders or stories, news placeholders that are not yet ready and ready. And I can associate any of those with my edit. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call these final edit gondolas. And what will happen at this point is that uh, the job is being managed and processed by the Adobe Media Encoder. This is a tool that will quickly, quickly flatten that file and then export it onto the K2 server. The Adobe Media Encoder is based on a number of presets that you can yourself create and that you can apply to different users or different groups. Now, within the presets, you can pre-specify the video format, the compression, audio sample size, and the particular destination for the K2, and so on and so on, so that you don't have to concern yourself for every edit and every program that you prepare. It's all set up for you, and you can just choose the preset that is required for each job. Now, at this point, once that is completed and it starts uploading to the K2 storage, I'll be able to see that within my GV Stratus client, specifically on the bin where I created, in this case, the TX bin. 
And there it is, you can see that it has just arrived and it's a growing file. I'm currently working on a low resolution client. Therefore, I need to wait for a few more seconds until I get a proxy copy of this clip. But at this point, it's already available for any high resolution client. So any editors can open it and I can also play it on air from my K2 storage. Here it is, I got the proxy copy and at this point I can double click that will open on my low resolution viewer. As you can see, it's a growing file still, still finishing the last few seconds of the browse content. So at this point it can be browsed on low resolution as well by any of the producers, any of the directors who may want to review the edit that you just completed on your Adobe Premiere Pro. So there you go. This is the end-to-end -end workflow. Great integration between Adobe Premiere Pro with the GV Stratus plugin. Allows me to search on the GV Stratus database. Allows me to edit in place with K2 Storage. And it's all available already and enhanced from GV Stratus version 3.5.